And so now that you get a handle for all the attributes that you can modify, I'm just going to change that back to color background so we can see our black background. Uh, the, you know, all with all these settings, there's a, a great need to save a group of these settings. And that's where we take advantage of the preset menu. So right here at the top of the, the menu, at the top of the style pane, and actually you see it at the top of the format pane too, this thing that says normal right now, this, if you pop it up, is a list of preset text styles. Now, each of these text styles contains a combination of settings from the format pane, the style pane, or both. It's hard to know right off the bat which are going to affect both format and style settings. Most of them, I think all of them do style settings, but uh, many of them also do the format settings. Generally, if you see something that's in a custom font like calligraphic there or designer thin, these are specific fonts that are probably also including the format settings. So for example, if I just apply one of these, that's going to automatically assign that font and style to my text. And you see here the way this is built, we can examine what's being done here. Here's our face, and the face is set to a gradient, right? If I hide the face now, there's no outline set. There is a glow set. If we look at the glow, it's set to the same style of gradient, and the same with the drop shadow. So we have both a drop shadow and a glow on top of our regular face, and that's that 80s uh, preset. If I choose a different one, let's just choose uh, blush, Notice what happens is the colors change, the face and the glow change, right? And the drop shadow gets turned off in this case. But the font remains set to that font from the 80s one. And that's because in this case, the format was not saved. So the format was saved with the 80s, but for that blush one, the format is not saved. It's just styles. So it retains whatever current font you've got set. If I change to calligraphic here, that's going to change the font and the style. You see, and there we get, can, you know, observing the, the settings saved in that preset. So you see, you've got all these presets, and there's quite a few of them here to choose from. Or more importantly, I think, is you can make your own. So I'm going to actually just go back. I'm going to undo here a couple times to the amazing settings that I left uh, before. <laughs> and let's say we wanted to save these settings as a preset. We go to that same little pop-up menu here and I can choose to save just the basic attributes, which is to say the format attributes, the style attributes, which is just gonna be the face, glow, outline, and so forth, or all of it, save all basic and style attributes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that in this case. And when I do it, it's gonna let me name it here. I'm gonna just call this amazing style i'm just going to call it that say save and now if you go to the pop-up there is amazing style which has those settings assigned to it and the you know all of these are saved in that little pop-up there and you'll be able to use these across projects so again, you can choose whether you want to save just style elements, basic elements, which means the format tab, or all of it. Everything in the format and the style can all be saved together in this little preset list.